There's two types of professing believers, and it's true right now. There are two types of professing believers in this room. Two types of professing believers. Those who are worthy of following and those who are not. I mean, most of you talk and profess to be believers, but by your life, he's talking about how a person walks. Keep your eyes on those who walk according to the example. Remember, Paul says, you remember how he even talked about Timothy a few weeks ago, Timothy and Epaphroditus. He says to Timothy, he goes, I don't have anyone like him. He goes, everyone else is about themselves. Timothy really cares about people, really cares about the mission. Epaphroditus is the same way. I mean, he risked his life for this thing. He goes, but, but you notice how he picked out like two people. And he goes, I don't have anyone else like Timothy because everyone's all into themselves. And even back then, he says, I can only name a couple of guys. Then I say, walk like them and keep your eyes like them. He goes, and, and follow me because I'm doing the same thing. I'm not living for this world. I'm not making a home for myself here. But here's what killed me. He says, uh, for many of whom I've often told you, and I now tell you even with tears, walk as enemies of the cross of Christ. He says many, and he's talking about people that attend church. Many walk as enemies of the cross of Christ. Don't miss this. Many walk. That's how, see, I'm not going to ask for a show of hands and say, hey, how many of you are enemies of Jesus Christ this morning? You know, notice how Paul, uh, Todd didn't do that in the beginning? Hey, how many of you guys are enemies of Jesus? Oh, good, good, I see that hand. No one's going to admit it. No one's even going to say it. But he says, many walk. You can look at their actions and go, he'll say that he's a Christian all day long. She'll say she's a believer and follower. But look at her actions. Look how she walks. She walks as an enemy of Christ. And he's saying, he goes, man, I'm not happy about this. He goes, I'm saying this right now. I've said it many times. He goes, and I'm saying it and I'm crying at the same time. Because I'm crying as I say this to you that many of you guys are, are walking like enemies of the cross. You talk like it, but you, you're, you're walking like enemies of the cross. And in the reason why he's crying is because he says their end is destruction. Wait, but they're professing believers, but they said they followed Jesus, but they prayed a prayer. I don't care. The way they walk shows me that what they said they didn't really mean. They're walking as enemies of the cross of Christ, and, he, and he's crying. He's going, man, their end is destruction. This, this, this makes me so sad. You know what destruction means? He's talking about hell. He, he, they think that they're going to cross this line and get real. He goes, no. Look at their lives. Their end is destruction. He goes, and it's killing me. He, he says, by their walk, and he explains them. He says, their God, their God isn't Jesus. Their God is their belly. Their God is their belly. What does he mean by that? It's their hunger, what they hunger for. Whatever I want, I'm going to get. I want to eat that, I'm going to eat that. I want to buy that, I'm going to buy it. He goes, God's not your God. You don't, you don't buy the things that God wants you to buy. You don't say the things that God wants you to say. You just say the things you want to say. Because you're your own God. Your God's your appetite, what you hunger for. So if you desire that, you're going to get it. And you'll figure out a way to justify it biblically. But you know you're not praying before the decisions and going, God, should I do this? Should I pursue her? Should I pursue this relationship? Should I watch that movie? Should I eat this? Should I buy this? Because no, you just do what you want. Your God, your God is not Jesus Christ. Your God is your belly. It's your appetite, whatever you desire. You're your own God. 